Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your weekly reading. Scorpio, this is for the week of January 9th through the 15th. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, Scorpio, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, Force for the Trees, I appreciate you all being here. I appreciate your time and energy. I appreciate uh, you just giving me, you know, some time. Hopefully something resonates with you. If not, you can check your moon and rising signs. If you are returning, thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes, for all your trust and support. And anything you need, Scorpio, will be listed in the description. If you'd like a personal reading, if you'd like to know the decks of cards I'm using, if you'd like to know um, more about astrology, anything's listed below. So help yourself. All right. Let's see what we have. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have this beautiful energy of new money coming in, new resources. Um, pentacles are your... Um, wow. Bottom of the deck, we have the tower card. Pentacles are your grounding energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They are your energy of um, material, you know, your money, your possessions, uh, work, things, anything that you have to use to make money or have money or have any of your possessions, any of your things, um, any anything work-related. We have the Tower card. This talks about letting something go, breaking away of something. It could be an old lifestyle, an old habit. It could be something of, um, this is subconscious energy. It could be afraid of losing somebody or something. You could have this energy of... Um, Almost like, um, you know, kind of like life short and to, to do things that you can do or take care of things you can take care of before something happens. Like, uh, almost like waiting for the other shoe to fall off. It's, it's almost like a, um, I don't know, you know, again, it's subconscious energy and you could just be, um, ha Afraid that something might happen. So you want to make sure everything's crossed and dotted. Or you, you are, um, again, tired of the way things are. And you're, you're going to transform yourself or change your energy. Because you do have the judgment card. And that is a card of starting new. You know, turning the page, starting fresh. But we have the page of pentacles. So you can have a message coming in about money. Um, you could have new money coming in or a new idea of how to make money. A new idea that might, you know, come kind of come in for a, um, like a side hustle, side job. And this could be where you've had this idea for a long time with the Seven of Pentacles. You could have put a lot of hard work into something, kind of like writing a book. That could be what this card is. Maybe it's something that has to get out before time runs out. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Like maybe your book's at the publisher or maybe your book's somewhere and you're waiting for it to come. So you can get it out before you might have a time limit on something. That's what I'm figure, feeling with that card. But you put a lot of work into this. You put a lot of hard work into this. And really all you can do now is kind of sit and wait and hope you hear, you know, with the, with the page of Pentacles, you could hear something from somebody about whatever it is you're cultivating, whatever it is that you're waiting to hear. It could be a job opportunity. Maybe you're supposed to hear something in December and you haven't yet. Maybe the positions open, you know, from January uh, 10th through the 12th or something like that and you haven't heard yet and you're getting nervous. But you're going to hear something It's job related or about work you've done related. And it's going to turn, it's going to afford you to turn over a new chapter in your life, a new page, a clean slate, start again, start new. Now this could mean that if you don't hear from them, you'll have to start new, but I'm feeling more of a, um, more of a new start. 
with what you've been working on, especially since that Seven of Pentacles is so intense and that they're so focused on those cards. And everyone's looking that way. Let's pull a clarifier on the Judgment card. Yeah, I feel like whatever it is, if you don't get something turned in in time, it could be paper for school, but it's something about work that the clock is going to reset and you're going to have to go and start all over again in that sense. All right. Yeah, it's, it's heavy. It's a burden. It's something very hard to do. Something you've been carrying around for a while. It's something you've been having to shoulder the responsibility for for a long time. But you have to see that there's growth. So even though you thought it was a burden and you thought it was something very hard, and I'm not saying it wasn't, that it all it affords you growth. And I think when you can get past this, that you can you can look back and see even the waiting or the not knowing is a blessing and helped you grow. All right. <clears throat> One more. Oh, that picked itself for me. Rescue. Very interesting card, Rescue. It's like there's a, almost like <clears throat> a damsel in distress up there. I can't get my camera to focus. Hmm. Let's see what that has to say. Interesting card. You are always safe and secure and free to be yourself. Asking for help isn't easy for many successful people. However, that's what you need to do now as you expand your life. If you find yourself troubled, you can expect help with whatever issue is at hand now. You need only ask and assistance will come your way. The most important support you can expect is from spirit. Get into sight, <clears throat> sorry, get into a right relationship with the divine and you'll see that many conditions line up as if by magic to provide you with all the help you need. Ask and you will receive. There is no need to fear. Safety is a place within and that could be too you know where you're caring so much and you're doing so much maybe ask for help that could be the game changer that could be the game changer because it feels like you're alone and isolated and in reality you very well might be but I think there's people there that will help you You know, whatever it is getting off the ground or whatever it is you're waiting to hear from or whatever it is you're waiting for it to grow because you have to wait. Kind of like if you plant a seed today, it's not going to be a plant tomorrow. But while you're waiting, look what happens. Look at the growth. It's almost like you're racing the clock. And I find the similarities on these two cards interesting. Perception. All right, Scorpio. Very interesting. Do you let me know how this resonates with you? And what you're waiting on or what you're doing or what you're waiting to hear from or who you're waiting to hear from. Take care of yourself and each other, and good luck to you. If you're waiting on a job, good luck to you all. Whatever it is, is going to start a new chapter, a new page, new, you know, clean slate in your life. All right. Take care of yourself and each other, Scorpio. Until next week. Bye for now.